Welcome back to Clumsy Dog Acres. College football starting up. I'm gonna show you how I do some ribs. We're gonna be watching the game over at a buddy's house tomorrow, and we're gonna be making our own rub, our own barbecue sauce. It's gonna be kind of weird because the game kickoffs at noon, so I'm gonna get these things on the pellet smoker at about six in the morning. I know a lot of people are doing the three, two, one, but finally that's a really easy way to overdo the ribs almost. So. It's probably going to turn out to be more like four and two and ten minutes, maybe. Because that last one hour, you know, you really only need the sauce to get tacky. Like, you're, you're done cooking at that point, and you're just looking for the presentation and get the sauce to tack up on the meat real nice. And, um, yeah, come along. I'll show you how it's done. Well, this part of the episode is called How I Lost My Finger. We we'll trimming the ribs up here. We're just going to be removing any of the flap parts and squaring it up. Looks like the butcher, these are like really squared on the ends here and there. This membrane that runs along the back side of the ribs, we'll pull that off too. Some people leave the membrane on. Um, I, I don't know why, because if you put seasoning on the back here and you have the membrane on, it's not going to go through the membrane into the meat and you're just kind of leaving the membrane on because you're worried about overcooking the ribs. Just don't overcook the ribs and then you'll be all right. I mean, that being the case, it doesn't really matter. Take it on, leave it off. It's really easy to do, no problem. So here's what I was kind of what I was talking about. Like, see this flap of meat here? It's not, gonna, it's not gonna cook, it's just gonna burn off. So we're just gonna square the rib, rib up like right here. Get that off of there. Little, that little flap over here. This one's quite a bit better though. This stuff's just gonna burn up, fall off. I can eat it anyway. Um, and some fat cap over here. You kind of, you kind of cut some of that away. These really don't have that much on them, so there's not a lot of trimming that needs to be done. Honestly, that's good enough for me. These are baby backs, so there's quite a bit more meat on there. Flip it over. Take that membrane off. Just want to get yourself a starting point somewhere. Okay, push down in the meat like that. Slippery, so you get it's just some paper towels so you can grab and pull on. And that's it. That one came off all off in one piece. This is a really good feeling, but if it doesn't, just rip it off. Here's some more fat that's just kind of hanging loose. Well, not fat, it's meat, but again, it's just gonna fall off. Make a mess on the on the smoker. What? Take this membrane off here too. I'll pick at it. Should I go two for two? Maybe. Oh, I 
I think I'm ripping it apart. By ripping it apart, I mean nailing it. That's just how we wrote that up. There we go. Um, that's it there. Square up ribs, any loose fat, any loose meat, just cut that off. Don't really have to do a whole lot. Just the baby backs. So I'm gonna put these back in the refrigerator um, because I'm planning to start this cook at about 5.30 in the morning. Um, game is at noon, so I wanna be there around 11 o'clock with some cooked up ribs. So I'm not gonna season them right now, but that's the seasoning we mixed up. That's the barbecue sauce that we made in the other video. So I'll show you that part of the cook, but right now I just wanted to get the membrane off, get it trimmed up. So I'm gonna just put these back in the fridge and then this mor uh, when the morning time comes around, that's when we'll season it up, let it get tacky, go put it on the pit, smoke it, all that stuff. All right, see you then. So we're gonna get these things seasoned up here. Use a yellow mustard binder, the rub that we made earlier. And do the uh, back side first. So we flip it over. We don't really mess up the uh, presentation side. So we're gonna go on the smoker. We're gonna do it meat side up at 200 degrees for a couple hours. We're gonna keep checking on it. We uh, will spritz it with uh, apple juice and uh, apple cider vinegar, kind of like a half and half mixture. And once we get the bark set up kind of nice, we get it looking the way that we want, we're gonna wrap it up in some foil, some barbecue sauce and some butter. I'll show you that part. But for right now, mustard on the back, season it up, flip it, mustard on the top, season up. Don't forget the sides and the edge. sitting in foil here just because it's kind of a uh, impromptu way for me to, to hold it. Didn't really have a container or a plate or anything like that that was, gonna, that was big enough to hold them both so just made this little foil. I'm gonna be using um, my uh, Pit Boss pellet smoker. I'm not really too concerned with how much smoke flavor is gonna go on there. The Pit Boss does a really good job, I think. But there's so much flavor on here with the barbecue sauce we made, with the seasoning we made, with what our spritzing with. I feel like adding extra heavy, heavy, heavy smoke to it just really kind of gets in the way. So after we get the sides seasoned up, we're gonna give it a couple seconds here, let it tack up just a little bit, and we're gonna flip them and do the same thing.
You can use anything as a binder. It doesn't have to be mustard. I gotta use water, you know. And if you're doing it, if you're doing it straight away, um, just use the natural uh, moisture that the meat has. You know, I'm feeling this here, and it's it's pro we probably I probably didn't need a, a binder on this side. It was it was pretty it was pretty wet. Start it up. So the bit's ready to go. Oh, we're gonna take these out there. I just want to show you how it's looking kind of wet now when the uh, the dry rubs on there. That's what I'm talking about when it's uh, packing up, right? So you first put it on there, it's really dry and flaky. But now it's had a, a, a little, just a little bit of chance to kind of soak in a little bit. And honestly, it's only been about 15 minutes, maybe. So it doesn't take a whole lot of time to do it. All right. So here's our setup out here. Get the ribs. Get the ribs there, doing their thing. Kind of scrunch them up like an accordion a little bit because anytime you put meat on a grill, it's going to cook the way that you laid it down. Um, also, a water pan. Add, add you a water pan whenever you're cooking something. It's something some people talk about but then don't really talk about. It adds moisture to the cooking area, and also water heats up and cools off a lot, 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 lot slower than air. So if you ever open the lid, you're gonna lose all the heat that you have out of here. But the water is gonna stay warm, so when you shut the lid back, it's gonna be able to bring the heat back up in the cooking area. And again, I'm this on the pellet smoker. I'm not gonna be using a smoke tube. If I wanted a lot of extra smoke, this is what I would put on here if I was you know, using the pellet smoker, but again, with so many strong flavors in there, I don't really think we need the smoke. Really, let me be honest with you. There's, it's going to get a lot of smoke. We're doing it at 200, so it's it's going to be smoky. It's going to have a nice bark. You'll see what we get when at the end, but all right, we're just going to let it ride. We're looking for uh, the meat to, to begin to pull back from the bones, and I estimate that's going to happen about two maybe three hours from now all right we'll see you then all right we are two hours in on this so going at 210 we'll open it up that's something nice looking real good this is just apple juice apple cider vinegar and uh a little splash of hot sauce. Help keep everything nice and moist, keep it from burning. It's looking really good. It's like pulling up there. You got a little bit of separation from the bones. I like that to pull back a little bit more. But looking really good. Alright. I think maybe another hour we'll come check it again. All right, here we are at the, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, four-ish hour mark. I don't know. You kind of just keep checking it, making sure that the bark's looking the way that you want. And so far, it's looking pretty good. Really hot, really hot. But we're gonna get these wrapped up here, then we're gonna put them back on there. 
to, uh, to finish. Wrapping's pretty easy. I'm gonna put a couple knobs of butter. Those are just tablespoons of butter. We got some brown sugar here. This is light brown sugar. You can use dark brown sugar. Whatever works for you. Put some that down right there in the middle like that. In order to get this barbecue sauce that we made ourselves. And we're gonna put some of that down just in the middle like this, just, just like that. And for good measure, a little squirt of honey down the middle like that too. That never hurt anybody. All right, put the meat down on it like that. Put a little bit of barbecue sauce across the back there. Just like that. And then I got two sheets of foil for a rack of ribs. Okay, I just want to fold them up like that. Nice and tight. like that and then we're gonna put it back on the on the smoker we're gonna do meat side down so exactly the way it's sitting right here and we're gonna bump that temperature up to 275 